Hello and good afternoon, staff and administration of ABC High School. My name is Catherine De Maria, and I'm an English language arts teacher here. And I have been asked to create a little video presentation for you guys about leveraging the home and school connections to support our English language learners in the specific English language arts content area. So we're going to talk a little bit about the cultural influences, cultural competence, and social emotional needs of English language learners in teaching and in learning, as well as some intentional strategies for family and community engagement that support and highlight the assets of home language, communication, family involvement, and culture to build family, community, and school partnerships, while also making sure we have an inclusive school and classroom environment while we take into consideration language acquisition and key environmental factors such as family, community practices, and the role of culture in student learning. And and also, we're going to talk a little about the role that family and community practices have in influencing an English language learning group. So, supporting cultural and social emotional needs in an English language learner's classroom is very important as most of our students come from different backgrounds and most of our English language learners come from different countries. It's important to make sure that our teachers are adequately supporting and celebrating the cultural diversity of all students in their classrooms, as many of our students experience a language barrier that could cause them a lot of stress and anxiety. These social and emotional conditions of being new to a country definitely influence our English language learners. And when we are teaching and when our students are learning, it is very important to keep these needs in mind. Curating culturally responsive lesson plans and materials for our students is a really great way to make sure that we are addressing the cultural influences that guide our students. Even providing supplemental materials in the student's native language may be helpful if time permits. Um, it's kind of hard to do that at all schools. Our school is lucky in the fact that we have a lot of English language learners that actually speak Spanish. So we could do a lot of Spanish supplemental materials, but we really do want to go ahead and strive for English only for them. Um, also make sure that you create connections and get to know your students. Those things can really help their social emotional needs. It's also really important to have engagement and communication between the school and the families and communities of our students. It's important to make the communication reciprocal, have clear guidelines for the ways that parents can get involved in their child's education, and also what rights they have as parents for English language learners. Make sure you also could encourage parents to monitor engagement at home. They can limit distractions, build consistency, and celebrate periods of concentration for their students. It is also important that the school's interests um, in the students' home lives is really perceived as genuine. Let the parents get to know the school, what values, interests, and funds of knowledge are represented on our campus, and make sure that you have a culturally responsive approach, and make sure that the authenticity is clear. Yes, we care about your student. That should be your number one goal. Um, and make sure that many community organizations nearby, they're a very valuable ally, so definitely use these. Um, they're a very, a very valuable ally in engaging English language learners' families. That could be by providing key services such as interpreters, medical care, or also explaining other educational opportunities such as how do you get a GED, how did the ESL classes work, and also they could help get citizenship classes for many of the parents and the students. And then creating an inclusive school and classroom environment is also important. As newcomers to the country, many English language learners can experience a wave of emotions. Initially, these students may experience a sense of euphoria, like, wow, this is amazing, and then culture shock, like, where am I? This is weird. Acceptance, and then assimilation and adaptation to the actual new country and new lifestyle that they have, and a new language. Um, so creating that inclusive environment may help our students become better assimilated to the country and the new language. Get to know your students. This is a big step in helping them feel included in your classroom and also in the school. Learn how to say their name properly. Smile. Make sure you have positive body language and show the students that you really do care. You can even invite the students' culture into the classroom and look for opportunities to celebrate all families and their languages, customs, and cultures, whether this be in the classroom or also at a school-wide event. And as our group, our English learners are very diverse, and because they come from different backgrounds with diverse language, culture, and educational background, extra resources are often required. Family and community is a large resource that we can use to help these students, as the family and communities play a very influential role in determining what our students are learning at home and at out-of-school activities. Many families of English language learners speak another language at home that isn't English, so many parents of English language learners don't speak English at home. So there might be a very limited support of English learning at the house. It's also important to have meaningful engagement with the family and community of our students as this can help us develop a more holistic approach um, and understanding of our students' needs as well as increasing the access to resources and supported learning and improving our students' outcomes. The outcomes that we traditionally really want to see for our students is an improved school attendance, higher graduation rate, greater enrollment in higher education or post-secondary, and an overall more positive attitude towards school in general. Thank you so much for watching this quick little video, and please reach out to me if you have any questions via email. Thank you.